Imagine if we said to ourselves, if we, I can only be happy when it's sunny out. And so every day it's sunny, we're ecstatic, we're joyous, and we're just thrilled with the world. And then we also say, well, if it's not sunny, I'm not happy. If it's rainy, if it's cloudy, if it's, uh, there's thunderstorms, I'm not happy. And I get sad. And imagine what your life be like basing your happiness on the weather that changes constantly depending on when you li- where you live some places more than others and you had a sp- specific criteria it, ha- it has to be sunny and it has to be 75 degrees not too hot not too cold and narrowing it you know to to such a fine line some people even narrow it even further it has to be sunny 75 degrees with a slight westerly breeze. And then we could go on and on about how the specifics of what the, it takes to make us happy. And it sounds ludicrous, but we do that every day in our lives because our, we base our happiness on things, a lot of things which are just completely out of our control, like the weather. Um, this per- I got this job. This person likes me. Oh, this person doesn't like me. Or this person said this about me. Or oh, I just got a, a bonus in my paycheck. Whatever. Barack Obama got elected president. Yay. I was watching the, the Angels-Yankees game. And uh, it went into extra innings. Real t- you know, tension filled. And Alex Rodriguez gets up to bat. And the Yankees are down. He plays for the Yankees. They're down uh, by one run, three to two. And he hits a home run. And he's ecstatic. The team's ecstatic. Everyone's so joyous. They, they tied the score. And then a couple innings later, he had men in, on, on base. And so if he would have got a hit, he would have won the game for the team. And he hits a pop, a pop fly and is called, is, is called out. And he's, you could see his body language in his face. And he's just, that home run was completely gone. He was just so upset about hitting a pop fly. And that's how life is, man. It's like sometimes you hit pop flies, sometimes it rains, sometimes it doesn't. But our, our happiness, you're going to suffer if you base your happiness on external things. That's why it's so important to develop such a tight-knit relationship with yourself to enjoy appreciate and seek out solitude and to have that inner knowledge about who you are deep deep down beyond all the conformity all the the dogma the indoctrination and really what your being is who you are then once you get that once you have that solid foundation of of accepting your flaws, loving your strengths, accepting just this unconditional love for yourself. And it's okay to be different. It's okay not to get approval. It's okay not to have the greatest job. It's okay um, to not be the happiest person in the world. And once you start having, it's like going to the gym, you know, every day you go to the gym and you, and you touch base and you, and you strengthen those muscles. We need to go to the gym within ourselves and know who we are. And once we do that, the external world, the weather, sunny, rainy, it it just loses its grip, its vice-like grip upon us. And it's just, oh, okay, today's sunny. Today is rainy. And the people that have the narrow thing, like I need it to be sunny, 75 degrees, and a light westerly breeze, are the people that are going to be most unhappiness. Because the space in which Things that make them content is this narrow. If you want to be happy, it's, it's try, instead of trying to so focus on changing your life, getting a better job, getting a better mate, looking better, all these things, expand the space in which life can pass through you and you can accept it and you can be at peace with it. Oh, if it's, if it's rainy, if it's, there's thunderstorms, that's fine with me. I like a little variety. Man, I wouldn't appreciate sunshine if it, if it was happen every day or if I lived in L.A. And you just 
the 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 filter just expands to such a, a place and as you as you start on this process you are so not affected by what does or doesn't happen in your life you're not well I need to uh, I need to do this I need to control this I don't need I need to uh, manipulate this person and get this to, 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 to. all that is just like a uh, you, you cut all those strings that kind of pull and motivate your life because you're, you're at peace with what is. I was reading this book, I forgot the author, but there was this uh, spiritual guru, master, whatever, that he would just sit in a room all day and do nothing. And people say he was just so at peace. Now, for, that's not for me, but it illustrates my point. You know, he would, he would have friends over and whatever he would do his teachings, but he needed, he came to the point where there was so, he was so content within that he needed no external validation, stimuli, possessions, accomplishments, um, ambitions. I mean, really, when you think about it, those things are prison sentences because you're now confining your happiness to accomplishing specific goals, tasks, and so you're always setting you're setting a, a bar that the bar is here and if I don't get over that bar I'm not going to be happy. Well, there's two ways, you know, the high jump, you know, oh I got to jump over that bar. I got to jump over. Now once you jump over that bar, you got to raise it again. I got to jump over the bar. And then once you oh I got to jump over the bar. And that bar will continuously be raised. So, there's there's a a, a much easier way about going going about it. Instead of trying to manipulate your life and you know, uh, manifesting the, the, your reality and you know, the, the books like The Secret and I'm going to create all these things in my life so I'll, I can be happy, the, uh, the easier way, doesn't cost a thing, just lower the bar. Lower the bar and the lower you go, the happier you'll be because there's nothing, there's no hoops, there's nothing you're trying to jump, you jump through. You're content with life as is. You're content with yourself as is. You're content with your mate, your partner as is. You don't need to try to change and manipulate them. You are content with the world as is. And it's this sweet nectar of serenity that is just so peaceful, so joyous. Does that mean we don't act and we sit on our butts all day? No. But it means that there's no, our sense of identity, our sense of happiness is no longer intertwined or connected to what does or doesn't happen in our life. It's more about each step that we take. If we feel passionate about changing the world, global warming, whatever it may be, we move in that direction, not trying to achieve an end result, but just enjoying and appreciating the evolution of the person we become as we're moving in the direction of whatever we're trying to whatever direction we're being pulled. But there's no more this end result, I gotta achieve, I gotta succeed. That's it. We've been fooled to believe that uh, our problems is due to lack. I think our, our problems is due to overabundance. In the Western world, we're just overstimulated, too much possessions, too much responsibilities, too, mon too many obligations, and we just need to strip everything away, get back to basics, and really discover who we are. And just be here now. Silent, stillness, at peace, and realize everything we need, we already have.